when did I start having issues with food? When did I start to use food as a way to numb or avoid my feelings? That happened for me after the birth of my son. I had a miscarriage before. I had my daughter in 2008. I was doing okay. I wasn't super thin, but I didn't want to be. I was content with my body. I could still be active. I could still chase my daughter, take her to parks, go for walks. I could still swim like I used to in college. I got back into the rhythm of enjoying what I ate, listening to my body, and eating when hungry. It wasn't until I had my son that everything kind of went sideways. In my seventh month, I developed preeclampsia, which is really high blood pressure. And I ended up being hospitalized for a bit. That was a really difficult, dark time for me. That changed everything. I was upset with my body. I was upset with myself. What did I do different with this pregnancy versus when I had my daughter? It had to be my fault. And so he was born premature. And he's great. He's wonderful. He's one of the tallest kids in his class. Nobody would ever know that he was only three pounds. Nobody would look at him and think that there was any difficulty in his life. I'm very fortunate. I'm very fortunate. I'm very grateful. My son is doing wonderful things. He gets A's. He is active and funny. He's snarky. I adore him. But I just kept eating and ignoring my feelings. Luckily, I discovered EMDR, and it's a type of therapy. And for me to get trained in it, I had to be a guinea pig. And that was one of the best things I've ever done. It forced me to realize what I was doing to myself, that I was punishing myself for my son being born premature, even though he's great, even though he's healthy and happy and doing wonderful. I was still punishing myself years later and not wanting to recognize those feelings and using food as a way to cope and numb from those feelings. And I'm a damn therapist and I didn't catch it. So it made me realize there's probably a lot of other people out there in these self-sabotaging cycles, punishing themselves for things, blaming themselves, telling themselves they're not good enough or it's their fault. And they're not recognizing it either.